All right. Uh, thank you, uh, Professor Sander, for sitting down with us today. Sure. Um, I just want to ask you a couple questions about the IPPD program. Um, could you tell me a little bit about it? Just a little background information. Sure. So Integrated Product and Process Design Program is a capstone program in the College of Engineering. And it really is one of our crown jewels. So what I mean by that is that our uh, senior undergraduates come into the program, not all of them, but a fair number in the college. And it's a two-semester experience where they come through and they work on real industry projects that are provided to us by some of our industry partners. Uh, as they go through that process, they uh, have an opportunity to learn not only about prototyping and build out, but the process of manufacturing, the process of, of developing these products. So it's a great uh, interdisciplinary program for the students. Mm, that's good. How do you feel it has contributed to the College of Engineering? Well, it, it, like I say, it's, it's really kind of a crown jewel. It's been described by one of our deans as a crown jewel of the college because it gives the students that true capstone experience. So the, the idea of this program is that it brings together all the skills, the knowledge, the, the networking that they've built up through the years in their undergraduate program in the College of Engineering and allows them to then exercise that on real world problems. And so this concept of bringing together all these skills and then exercising that in, in, in real world context is incredibly powerful for the student's education. Okay. And uh, what has been your role in IPPD? I know you've had different So I've positions. been, I, I have, I've been very, very blessed to have a number of positions in IPPD, but I've always served in an advisory capacity. So I've been on the Integrated Product Process D Design uh, Advisory Board for uh, 10 years now, maybe, for a long time. <laughs> uh, it's, been, it's been great years. Uh, and, and recently, uh, IPPD, I was fortunate to have it come under my program. So I, I direct the Engineering Innovation Institute, of which IPPD is a big part of now. So I was very proud to, to bring that program under the institute. Okay, that's good. And uh, I know it's difficult sometimes with engineering. You have such a broad range of different engineering fields. Um, what are some of the programs that you've been able to enact within IPPD and sure. in order to encompass that? Yeah. It is broad, and I think that's, that's a challenge, but it's also a, a tremendous advantage to the program because we have the opportunity to bring together me mechanical engineers, material science engineers, electrical engineers, computer science. A big part of it is bringing industrial engineers in because not only do they do the, the, the technical analysis of whatever it is they're developing, but it gives them an opportunity to do the business analysis as well. So we've had an opportunity to build many, many projects that have been very successful in the marketplace. One interesting aspect of this that we've had now for, I think, almost 10 years is a program called Integrated Technology Ventures. So IPPD, the foundation of IPPD is to bring an industry problem in and have this multidisciplinary group of engineering students work on that project. Integrated Technology Ventures, or ITV, was our opportunity to, instead of bringing an industry project in, take a technology from the University of Florida, an invention essentially, put this group of, of interdisciplinary engineering students on it, and bring a group of business students and a group of law students in, and a serial entrepreneur to run this as a virtual company. And it's, it's been a great experience for us over the last 10 years. Wow, that's great. Yeah. So it's, it seems like you're not only developing products, but you're developing these students as well. Well, that, I mean, th at the end of the day, that's, you know, our primary product from the university. We produce great research. We produce great knowledge publications. But I would argue our most valuable product is the students. Mm -hmm. and so the things that we do, the things that we should focus on, really is focused on the students and, and, and you know, giving them, them the greatest educational experience that we can. Because at the end of the day, we have a responsibility to, to the nation. We, as a college of engineering, produce about a percent and a half of all of the engineers going out into the country. That's a tremendous responsibility. So programs like IPPD allow us to give the students the, the complete experience and use that as they go out into the world. Mm -hmm. What has been uh, the response, I guess, of the alumni of the program? Have they gone on to specific Oh, it's been fields, great. Or? Yeah, it's been great. So, you know, the... the the really fun thing, uh, one of the fun things is, is when you see these students, you know, come back and, and you'll hear from a student five years later that says, you know, I've gone out, I've done these things, whether it's in industry or some of them may go into public policy, some of them may go into nonprofits, so engineers without borders, it doesn't matter. However, they're going out and changing the world and, they, and they'll write back or call back and say, you know, the things we studied in IPPD and the... And the things I learned about working in a group and working across cultural barriers, and in some cases working across global barriers is something that stayed with them forever and really had an impact on, on their lives. Oh, wow, 
Uh, do most of them go into the private industry, I'm guessing? Or some most of them, them do go into private industry. <clears throat> some go elsewhere. Some, you know, many, uh, so private industry these days is much different than private industry when I came out. So I did my undergraduate work here at the University of Florida. And I, I went into the large companies. Well, the companies these days, as they bring these students in, especially if they've had this real-world experience through IPPD, mm -hmm. all of a sudden they have a different type of employee, a type of employee that they can put into different parts of the, not only the, the, the company, but different parts of the globe. And so it really is a great experience for the students and does, a, does just a great job of preparing. So the alumni from the program, have responded very positively. Business has responded very positively as well. Okay, what has been some of the response? I know you have 10-year partners and now coming up on 20-year partners. Yeah, we have <laughs> partners that have been with us a very, very long time. And the one thing that, th that I think we pride ourselves on is we always look for a mutually beneficial relationship. So obviously having the in these industry partners is incredibly valuable to us as an institution, as a college, uh, to the students. But you know, if we don't prove value to those industry partners, then it's really not a partnership. And so <clears throat> I think the tenure of some of the partnerships that we see with some of these companies speaks to, to the mutually uh, beneficial relationship we've been able to form. Mm -hmm. That's good. What have been um, some of the hallmark innovations that have come out of the program? Oh, there's been so many. So, um, you know, <clears throat> some of these, it's interesting because we have a tendency to celebrate those that are wildly successful, you know, they come out. Sometimes you learn more from those that are failures. So, not as successful because that learning experience, you know, of going through that is incredibly valuable. But some of the ones that have been very successful, you know, we had a, uh, a team that developed a technology for Lockheed Martin Corporation where uh, a, uh, a warfighter would be in a position where they could essentially fire, for lack of a better word, a paintball gun with a projectile that was developed by this program. Uh, it would fire and attach to a moving object in some cases and would be able to sense whether there was explosive material on that moving object and send that back to the warfighter so that the warfighter was able to get that information in such a way that they didn't put themselves in danger, uh, which is what they have to do many times in the field. Mm -hmm. wow. wow, that's amazing. Um, so what are some of the challenges then that you've seen with some of these projects? Um, maybe things that you've seen in the past that yeah. are improving now? So the challenges are just myriad. <laughs> you know, sometimes <clears throat> you, uh, you're challenged because at the end of the day, this is really development work. And this is cutting edge development. I mean, this is, this is really you know, intricate work. I've been out in the industry. I spent 10 years in large companies and many years in small companies. And so the work that you see coming out of these teams is something that is truly technology development. And as such, you get a lot of surprises. Mm -hmm. So we've seen everything from you know, material surprises that don't seem to make sense to we have a group of students together and oh, by the way, we need a different discipline. Sometimes you know, things happen in the marketplace, specifications aren't what you think they are. And at the end of the day, you, know, you put an entire system together, you try it, and the 15 things you never thought of that were going wrong, go wrong. The key here is that's life, that's business, that's engineering out there in the real world. So IPBD gives them an opportunity to exercise that in an academic setting, relatively risk-free academic setting, so they don't have to have those failures in when they go into industry. Mm -hmm. wow. Let me, Justin, if I could ask you, <laughs> do you want me to shorten my answer some? No, I mean, you're, okay. you're doing good on length. Yeah, you okay. can even slow it down if you'd like and, okay. and give longer I responses. Will. Yeah. Um, so these challenges, of course, become potential opportunities. So they do. How have you seen that shift, I guess? I know initially you began your career in, I believe it was NASA? Well, I, yes, NASA. I went into large companies. So I was General Electric, Pratt & Whitney, you know, Lockheed Martin. Um, you know, sometimes you see, it's interesting to see the students develop. So, you know, maybe early on in the two semester series, if they run into certain challenges, the natural instinctive reaction is to go run for help. And, and, and we have faculty there as mentors. We have industrial liaison to help mentor the students. And so that's a natural reaction. You go to somebody with more experience. And what's interesting to see is as the student teams develop, they start to go to each other in the team to try and because I realize that the team and the intellect of the team is so much more powerful than the intellect of the individual. And especially if you have multiple cultures represented on a team because different cultures bring different mindsets and different viewpoints to problems and solution sets. 
And so it's, it's, you know, one of the interesting things to me is seeing these teams develop not only as individuals, but as a team. Because that same problem that they might have tackled early in the process by immediately going out and seeking help from their faculty member, toward the end of the process, they may stop and say, okay, let's look at what the real problem is. Let's look at what our solution sets really are. Let's look at what type of analysis can we do to el eliminate some, some variables so that we can get to the best solution that not only is a technical solution, but is also a business solution as well. And I think IPPD broadens their mindset along those lines. Wow. I'm just wondering from, a, I guess, a program standpoint, uh, it, this is definitely a very innovative program. And I'm wondering, did you have any type of templates or any models to follow? Or? Oh, you know, so, so if we, this is where you, it's interesting to see this program develop over almost 20 years now. Mm -hmm. So if you go back 20 years, the original director of uh, the program was Dr. Heinz Friedrich. And he was really a pioneer of this, of this, in this space, this type of program. So if you looked at, and, and we did, we looked at other universities, there were very, very few programs in universities that were trying to do this because this, this, is, this is difficult. This is not trivial, it's a complicated process. Trying to mimic as much as we can the industry setting while getting the students to, to learn along that process. And so if I fast forward 19 years or so, almost 20 years to where we are today, what you see is other programs growing as well. And, and many programs across the country are now doing an excellent job. I would put our program up against any of the other ones out there. I would put our director, Dr. Keith Stanfield, up against any of the other directors out there. So I think he's done you know, a magnificent job, first Dr. Friedrich, then Dr. Stanfield, in growing the program and keeping the program truly at the cutting edge. Mm -hmm. um, what, uh, what do you see as the future of the program? What are some... Oh, I think the future is incredibly bright. So, <laughs> so what's interesting is if you look at you know, where we've come as an engineering profession, so for instance, when I came out, uh, the requirements of, of me as an engineer, as a graduate from this College of Engineering going into industry were relatively simple. It was technical depth and everything else I would pick up in the industry and, and in the marketplace. It's a much different world today. So today, that, that new engineer, that engineer for the next generation, has to have technical depth, and they do. They come out of this program, out of the College of Engineering, they have that technical depth. But to be really successful and lead, they have to have other skill sets that have not traditionally been introduced into their education or which they've been asked to exercise. For instance, working in teams, working across global and cultural barriers, communications, ethics, you know, really understanding group dynamics, understanding basics of finance, so that the things that they do as engineers can have maximum impact in a world that's moving at light speed. So as we've moved into you know, as, a race, as, 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 as the human race transitioned into this new world, programs like IPPD are really kind of ahead of, 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 of where the rest of the, the field is because they've prepared the students for that. So if you look at IPPD now, it's really set up very, very well to prepare those students to operate and to lead in that new world. Wow, that's amazing. So what, um how many programs do you currently have operating within the program? I know there's a long list. Within IPPD? Yes. <laughs> oh gosh, we have in, on any given, you know, any given year, two semesters, we'll have anywhere from 18 to maybe 25 projects. Oh, wow. And how long do they normally last? They last two semesters, yeah. Okay. So they start at the beginning of fall and they go through fall and then into spring. And by that time, everybody is exhausted, <laughs> but, it's, but it's a great feeling. It really is because you have you know, typically if you have 25 projects, you've got 20 companies or so, and some companies will do multiple projects. We've had companies do four projects at a time because, again, they see the value there. They see the value not only in terms of the technology development. Frankly, that I think is secondary. The real value is the human capital development. So they get to see these teams, you know, develop and, and the way that the students individually work within that team structure. So um, I think that, uh, you know, that, that that future is very, very bright. Mm -hmm. Over the years since you've been here, have you seen the students' interests going in a certain direction within engineering through this program or within business? Yeah, so that's it's an interesting question because I've seen the students' interests go in every direction. Mm -hmm. So what I mean by that is, you know, I think, our, I think the United States, the world more generally, has gone through 
through eras where we were focused on certain technological areas. So for instance, we had the internet boom and all of the IT and the computer science that went along with you know, this concept of building this digital world. And now more recently, we've had a real focus on biomedical because we have now the tools that we've developed to really understand the human, the biological being uh, at a DNA level. And so we, I think, as species have a tendency to go in these different directions. The students, you know, what we encourage them to do, what they really do, is just follow your passion. Wherever it is, follow that passion. IPPD gives them the opportunity to do that because if you look at the projects, they're everywhere. They're all different disciplines. And it's fun to see, again, these interdisciplinary teams. They'll have a focus, whether it's IT, hardware, so we have a lot of hardware projects, but it really gives the opportunity for the students to exercise their discipline, computer science, within a hardware-oriented project, as an example. Wow. What were some of the programs that you were able to develop, or some of the aspects of the program you were able to develop as director during it? So, so I've t I'm the director of the Engineering Innovation Institute. The program is underneath that, so the IPPD director. So if I could, let me answer. This is off camera. Oh, I'm going to screw it up so you can't do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, 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 it's, uh, that's fine. I just didn't want this segment used <laughs> oh. because this is a discussion between us right mm -hmm. now. So I think a, maybe a better question, that's really a question of Dr. Stanfield because okay. he runs that program and I don't want to take any of his thunder. Uh, that, that's his thunder completely. Mm -hmm. So oh, okay. I think I'll pass on that one. Okay, gotcha. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, well, I guess moving forward, we have here to describe the IPPD program in one word, but I'd like to ask you a follow-up with that one as well. So how would you describe IPPD in one word, if you could? That's a good question. You know, I think probably if you had to have a one-word description for it, it would be complete. complete. So it provides the students with a complete experience. It completes their educational experience here. And it completes, I think, their preparation to go into industry. It really is the capstone. It's that, that experience that brings it all together. And my hope would be that the students, as they go through this, they feel a, that, that it does complete them to some degree because it's their chance to exercise everything that they've learned, not only from a technical perspective, but also a perspective of, of working in a team, working on a project, delivering to timelines, those types of things. It really is the opportunity to complete that entire process. Wow. And I, I guess to piggyback off of that response, how would you say that this program has impacted the faculty? I think it's had a tremendous impact in a number of ways. One is that, you know, we as a major research university and a large college of engineering within a major research university, many times focus on research that will result in, in technology advances that are maybe 10 or 20 years out. So this is different. This is opportunities and challenges that industry has today and our opportunity to engage with industry in solving those challenges and in doing so preparing tomorrow's workforce. And that I think has been really impactful to the College of Engineering, to certainly the administration but I think also to the faculty. They have the opportunity to work with a company hand in hand and a group of students and really attack a problem and a set of problems that are, that are really important to industry today. And so it gives them also a view of where industry is and what they're thinking and what their concerns are today because these are real problems that, that come in. Wow. Well, thank you. Is there anything else you'd like to add about your experiences in the program? No, I just think that, look, I've, I've, I've been very blessed in life to have had many, many experiences. Uh, I've worked in large companies, I've worked in small companies, I've started companies, worked in the venture industry, worked in government labs, now I've worked in academia. And in those times, you look for those seminal programs. You look for those, those programs that you say, that really impacts the next generation. That program is, a, is what I call a legacy program. It leaves a legacy. IPPD is a legacy program. Wow. Well, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Good. Sondag. Yeah.